The 2001 Mariners currently hold the greatest win record in baseball at 116 and 46. Back in 2001, they tied the 1906 Cubs for the highest amount of wins in MLB history. And I want to go out and beat that record today. The problem is though, I have an absolutely terrible freaking squad. That's why with the help of some of the greatest MLB players of all time, we're going to be trying to beat that record. But that's not the only goal that we have. By the end of this year for goal two, we have to win an MVP and a Cy Young in the same season. And then goal three, completely beat the 2001 Mariners by winning the World Series series in that same season. This team is going to have a lot of expectations coming in. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. I think we got to start out hot and let's go out and try to get the new ace of this team. There are a bunch of options that I could go with, but right now the guy calling my name is Randy Johnson. The big unit coming up in clutch games is going to be so important. So of course, Randy, welcome to this team. $300 million, bro. Oh my God. Next up, shortstop, the captain of the infield. And I can think of nobody better than Ernie Banks. One of the greatest shortstops in be history, hitting 512 home runs. Again, as a shortstop, you barely ever see that. Not to mention the guy played in such an important time in baseball. I can think of nobody better to actually lead the infield. So Ernie, get over here, dude. Next up, staying in the infield, I think we're going to go third base here. And bro, there are some options here today. George Brett, insanely good. Chipper Jones, I mean, come on. Eddie Matthews, all these guys are so nice. Brooks Robinson, RIP. But if I'm going to be trying to get the best third base impossible, I'm going with one of the GOATs. And that's Mike Schmidt, a three-time MVP winner. Again, I cannot imagine anybody better at the hot corner. Not to mention the guy's career war is over a hundred. There really are many people better. Not to mention, look at all that fielding and that power. Like, dude, it's gonna be so good. Mike Schmidt, get over here. The team's coming in nice, but now I think it's time to go back to pitching. Let's try to go and get that second starting pitcher and oh my gosh, I already see him. Look at my boy, Greg Maddox. Come on. Definitely was not the hardest throw. I mean, my boy only tops out at 92, but as a number two behind Randy Johnson, this dude is gonna be absolutely incredible. So Greg, come on. And I can't believe we still have three more spots here. I mean, we still got Pedro. We got all these other dudes we could possibly add four players in and oh my gosh our team salary dude this is gonna be ridiculous we're looking good now it's time to go out to the outfield though and this is where i'm gonna have a lot of trouble we have people like willie mays ken griffey jr duke snyder mickey mantle plus like the newer end of good players like grady sizemore people forget how good he was like there are a lot of guys here that could fit in this team but for center field alone this might make a few people mad because i'm not gonna go with ken griffey jr i'm going with willie mays mostly because if we need him to the guy could play first base left field and right field along with center field not to mention he's 23 years old here like the dude fits in way too well plus i am building this team on the giants and he's a giants legend so willie i can't not have you on the team get over here thing in the outfield now right field is looking very very bare because nobody's freaking there normally i'd go with a bunch of power here and the guy that owns the record for the most home runs in baseball is barry bonds but he's not in the game for a lot of different reasons that i really don't want to get into so the next best thing is probably the best pure power hitter in baseball history hank aaron baby again 23 years old, all with 99 hitting stats. I have never seen that. Even with the rest of the guys in this team, Ernie Banks does not have 99 everything. Willie Mays got close, but he doesn't have 99 everything. Mike Schmidt, not even close. So Hank, bro, you are a cheat code and I need you on this team ASAP. $350 million. Please tell me you'll sign that. And he does. We might end up building a billion dollar team by the end of this video. Like these dudes are expensive, bro. Next up, it's time to go back to the pitching staff because we need that third pitcher. And I mean, come on, we could go with like Don Sutton, could go with Burt, but Pedro, look at that freaking wheel. Another freaking cheat code. How is this possible? Pedro, it is great to have you. Look at this rotation now. Randy Johnson, Greg Maddox, Pedro Martinez. I was not lying when I said we're gonna be building one of the greatest teams in MLB history. I'm pulling out all the stops to beat those 2001 Mariners. Guys, I have seven players on the MLB roster and we're already the first in baseball. First in rank, first in contact, first in power, first in pitching, first in defense. We got to get that speed up now. And if you need speed, you might as well go with the GOAT. Two-time World Series winner, Ricky Anderson. What's good, baby? He might not be the best hitter that we can get on this team, but my God, he is going to be a fantastic leadoff dude. Let's go break some more stolen base records, Ricky. Let's go. And I got to know, now that we added Ricky Anderson, we got to be first in speed, right? Second? Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't let that slip. We're not letting that go. That's why now, going to second base, we're getting none other than Jackie Robinson. Not to mention the 91 speed that we're looking for. Amazing vision, clutch, everything is so good. Jackie, the OG number 42. Jackie, come on over. Next up, first base is looking empty because it is. We're 29th somehow over there though. I would hate to know who the heck is 30th behind a ghost player. But over to first base, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a curveball here. Down to two guys. Option one, Stan Musial. Oh my gosh, was this dude fire. A career three 
played 31 average with 475 home runs and 725 doubles. But we also have freaking Lou Gehrig over here as well. And my boy's got a career 340 with 493 home runs and 163 triples. The dude's only got 62 speed. My boy was moving around those bases. And to be honest, I might have to cheat the system, but for first base, I'm going Lou Gehrig. One of the most iconic first basemen of all time is now on our team. Now we got to go with a DH. And to be honest, Stan Musial's the guy. 99 contact versus both right and left. 90 power versus right. 99 power versus left. And then 99, 99, 99 on vision, discipline, and clutch. Stan is him straight up. So Stan, you are going to be the DH now, baby. Next up, we need somebody catching for that insanely good rotation. And honestly, I think the dude that we got to go with is going to be the lefty killer, Johnny Bench. Dude's got 99 contact and 99 power versus left. Not to mention the best fielding that we've seen out of a catcher so far. And honestly, again, for a catcher, not bad speed. Normally, catchers have like between 10 and 20 speed. But yo, Johnny Bench over here at 43. The dude's going to be a freaking general behind the dish. So I'm down. Now that we've built up this team halfway and our team is already the best in baseball, it's time to bring in the wheel positions. And this is where it could either make or break us. Because I still need more starting pitchers. I still need an entire bullpen. I got a lot more stuff to build. But the wheel's going to be helping us build out the rest of this team. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. What do we got first? First up is going to be another catcher. Okay. If I'm going to go with another catcher, I got to go with probably one of the greatest hitting catchers in baseball history, Mike Piazza. That's pretty much a slam dunk. So Mike, let's go. After a few more spins of the wheel, we were able to add insane players like Babe Ruth, Ken Griffey Jr., Miguel Cabrera, Bob Gibson, Walter Johnson, Trevor Hoffman, and Mariano Rivera. I have one spot left in this team and the wheel's gonna pick it for me. What we got, baby? Catching again. Okay. We're pulling a Padre strata here, going three catchers deep. But Pudge Rodriguez, the five foot nine short king, I gotta get him. I mean, look at the freaking catchers. Johnny Bench, Mike Piazza, Avon Rodriguez. What is this team? Unfortunately, we couldn't be first in everything because speed is still fifth. I have no idea why, but it is what it is. But first in rank, first in contact, first in power, first in pitching, first in defense. Let's go beat these stupid 2001 Mariners because I think this freaking team's got a chance. Everybody say a prayer for the rest of the league. I will see you guys back here midseason. Trade deadline time. I got to see how this team is doing. Come on, baby, please. What do we got? Oh my gosh, dude. Realistically, I'm not shocked, but 89 and 17. It's July 31st. I kind of feel bad for the Dodgers. They got dethroned by MLB legends that technically should not even be able to play at all. But yo, if only you could bring these players back just for baseball purposes. If you could do that, this would be insane. One thing that I have to see too is how much is this team cost me right now? What do we got right here? Budget 800. Oh my, bro, this is dumb. 860 million dollars. And right now the best players on the offense, big shocker, are Ricky Henderson. That's actually kind of surprising. I'm not gonna lie. With a team that looks like this, I'm actually surprised he's one of the best hitters, but either way. Hank Aaron, of course, 33 home runs, 110 RBIs. Again, it's July. I have no idea how he's doing this. And then of course, Lou Gehrig. I mean, bro, what the heck? And I'm just going to give you guys a quick little look at the rotation because I don't want to spoil anything. But take a look at freaking Pedro Martinez, dude. This is broken. And remember, by the end of this year, we not only have to beat the MLB record, we have to win the MVP and Cy Young in the same year and then win the World Series. It looks good now, but the second half of the year is going to be the hardest that we've ever had to go through. And let's see how the heck this team responds to that type of challenge. The first goal, real quick, is about to be broken on September 3rd, by the way. The team's 115 and 21. If we beat the Padres right here, we tie the MLB record. So please, Pedro, just carry us real quick. And there we go. 7 nothing. My God. When we needed him most to tie the MLB record, he goes nine innings with nine strikeouts. I mean... <laughs> He's such a cheat code. It's actually dumb. Now, guys, I think it's time. We kind of have to go into this. We're about to break the MLB record versus the Cubs, a team that actually holds the record because technically both the 1906 Cubs and the Mariners are the two teams that have 116 win seasons in the history of baseball. And if we can get our 117th win versus the Cubs in Wrigley, that'd be kind of poetic. And base is loaded already. Ernie Banks back at your home field. Just do a big right here, baby. Come on. Pop out. All right. Not great. And they've taken the lead. What the? Dansby hit a double. Greg giving up three doubles this inning. He got out of it, but bro, how did they take the lead first? There we go. Luke Gehrig with another triple. I don't know how the heck he keeps doing that because he's really not that fast, but Mike Piazza hits him home and we tied this game up. Let's please take the lead though. Ricky, come on, baby. Three run bomb. There we go. And as the game went on, Greg Maddox settled down into being dominant and of course, the guys exploded. Eight to one, top of the ninth. Let's go. Single, single. Oh my gosh, please. Add more. Add more right here, Willie. Sack fly. All right, well, we did technically add more. Stan, pop out. We got one. All right, not bad. Greg, come on, finish the game right here, baby. Fly out, ground out, get it. I gotta go in. 
Oh, there it is. There it is. Willie, get under it, please. Make the catch. There we go. We have officially broken the LB record. 117 wins in the year as this team clutched out. But now into goal two, getting the MVP and the signing in the same season. Let's see if we could do that. And my God, 139 and 23. We didn't lose a single game after beating the LB record. And I think we just set something unattainable for any other team in baseball history. 139 wins. That's disgusting. Awards. Here we go. Did we get it? Cy Young, Pedro. That's one off the board. We're happy. Halfway done with goal two. Now, please just tell me somebody got the MVP. Stan Musial, Hank Aaron Ward. Come on, baby. MVP, Pedro. I wasn't expecting the same player to get both of them, but I guess we'll take it. Pedro, congratulations on the disgusting year. 28 and two with a 2.3 ERA and 319 strikeouts. Again, I don't know how the heck this is even legal, but I don't really think it is, to be honest. Now it's postseason time and Dodgers are up first. I am so sorry for you guys. I've also just been told by the Giants owner, if I do not win the World Series this year, I am getting fired immediately. Apparently, if you spend almost a billion dollars in one single season, they get pretty mad. So let's see how that we do. First, the Dodgers. I need all the help we can get here, boys. Just play like we've been playing. And luckily, the Dodgers were no match as we went 3-0 versus them. Now on to the NLCS versus either the Braves or the Cubs. And it looks like the Cubs are coming back to the CS. Really? Wow. Yo, Cubs, they've actually gotten two wins off of us. That is incredibly impressive. Walter Johnson, shut the door here, though, baby, please. Come on. There we go. The Cubs were impressive, but not good enough as now we're on to the world series facing the twins let's get it going game one walter johnson versus garrett cole who has not given up a single run this postseason garrett please mess up now if you don't mind walter come on okay wow we got destroyed yo Pedro up next versus pablo lopez please just destroy them there we go that's better randy versus sunny gray there we are walter back again joe ryan there we go three one and it's time for the world series game i think we bring out the jackie robinson gear let's go for it why not the dude's on our team so we might as well honor him he's also doing amazing in the postseason let's go jackie and the boys are rocking to start game five of the world series tyler molly bro i am so sorry a 20 era practically this is not what that guy signed up for a five run top of the third stan musel it's another two run home run let's go stan and mike schmidt getting on the action they finally took out tyler i mean my guy was dying out there and someone who's not dying out there is my boy pedro martinez and i guess i spoke too soon i mean my boy's done amazing but he gave up a two run bomb to max kepler i'm still gonna let him go because why not the guy's so good. But bottom of the eighth, this is for sure going to be his last inning. Just please go one, two, three for me, baby. Pedro versus Carlos, strike out. Pedro versus Jorge, strike out. Royce Lewis, ground out. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. And it's time. Mariano, come on in, baby. B, as he has 108 on the ERA. How the heck is that happening? Okay, Mariano, just go. Come on. There we go. Strike out, ground out. That's the two outs. Byron Bucks, and we're going in. I really wish we could have been at home back in San Francisco, but I think it's going to be all right. 0 2 count, Byron Bucks, and just go for it, dude. Just end this right here. Just let us complete the challenge. Let's go. All three challenges complete as we've officially become the greatest legend team in baseball history. Look at that, baby. 2023 World Series champs. That's perfect. If you guys enjoyed this video leave a like on it and subscribe down below i really appreciate it and be sure to check out this video i promise it's good just go ahead and click on it